Hey guys, Madness80 here, and I got one of two of my HasLab Sentinels. HasLab Hasbro Sentinels. Amazing, amazing piece, as you can see. I don't know what hasn't been said already. You know, I mean, people are singing its praises and people also have their complaints. Rightfully so. You pay X amount of money, you expect a certain type of quality, a certain level of quality. And you can't, you can't really fault these dudes for being mad. So what I'm talking about, if you don't know, and I'm sure you do know though, are a lot of these shipped with some loose knees. They should have been ratcheted, especially from the company that makes Transformers and giant Transformers every now and then. Uh, they have ratcheted joints. I believe when this was first shown off behind the scenes, it had ratcheted joints. For whatever reason, it doesn't have ratcheted joints, but everybody's favorite toy reviewer, Robo, one of mine, went ahead and showed us how he popped this out with the flathead screwdriver and he went and tightened that. I did admittedly have a loose knee in the Sentinel's right leg. I went ahead and did it to this one anyway, and it's fine now. So I'm happy and in love. I don't know what else to say. This thing's amazing. Uh, this is, I think at this point, the biggest figure in my collection i could be wrong i do own hot toys hulkbuster and i don't even recall how big that is that is put away uh this dude does come with some additional heads which were here unlocked so we got master mold uh tri sentinel not my favorite honestly and then two battle damage pieces which look amazing this is battle damage head and battle damage hand so looking at this up close look at its little where the tentacle comes out broken just broken so you can see it plugs into the hand we'll go ahead and do that later uh but i think i'm gonna keep these as display pieces uh do you diorama makers probably could make something like a cool street scene where you can go ahead and you know fit these in and they would look fantastic then here is a pure unbent at this time tentacle which plugs into the hand here i'll go ahead and show that in a bit and then here's a nice one. Uh, this is a uh, six-year-old was playing with this. So that's another thing. This went ahead and stood, you know, uh, six-year-olds can be a little rough, but he knows it's an important piece in my collection. And an hour and a half of playtime, he is fine. Joints are still tight. No, no chipping and paint. As a matter of fact, let's zoom in on some of this paintwork here. Look at these sparkles in that purple. It is nice, man. Uh, the only other thing, negative thing I would have to say this is cool and all, but dude, the last Sentinel you released had some voice lines in it. And that would have been fantastic to have that in this figure once again. So uh, another, you know, thing I'd like to point out, um, and we're spoiled. Maybe we're not spoiled. I don't know. You know, a lot of Toy Biz figures had finger articulation, but not to the level of this detail. This basically bends at every joint that we have in our hand. Uh, so my son, so used to action figures coming with multiple hands, was like, this is it. This is what he has. He doesn't have a fisted hand. I was like, dude, you can make a fist. And he was blown away by that. So I thought that was cute. That was awesome. And uh, made me appreciate the level of detail in the articulation for these hands. So thank you, Hasbro, for that. That is awesome. I mean, you may as well, right? These things are huge. Um, I, I can think of very few figures with that many articulated digits. Uh... Spider-Man from Spider-Man 2, right? That giant 18 inch or however big it was. Uh, I think Giant Man, Toy Biz Build-A-Figure. I could be wrong, but you let me know. So just admiring the detail here again, articulated fingers at nearly every joint or at every joint. So you're gonna bend there, you're gonna bend there, you're gonna bend there, boom. And then plus it twists as well. So plus the thumb has a little bit more range. Boom, boom, look at that. Looks so good. And again, the quality, the fill, it's, 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 it's awesome. I, it just makes me look forward to Galactus. I think a lot of people love the detail. You know, similar to C-3PO, we get to see some wiring and the inner workings of the Sentinel. And, you know, there's some colors there, some, some are grayscale, whatever. It's awesome. But, you know, the um, wiring and thighs and the legs, you see it in the arms. Good stuff there. Ah, oh, yeah, the inner workings of any robotic thing is fantastic, especially when detailed like that. Uh, something I do want to show is the bottom of the feet. It is pretty detailed. 
awesome. Lifting this with one hand. Sentinel crotch, sentinel abs, brilliantly hidden. I mean, you could kind of, you know, just looking at this, you could kind of make out where an ab crunch would be. Let's see a bending there. Ever so slightly, but yeah, look at that. That's so awesome. Even right there, it just reconnects with the, the mold, the sculpting and all that stuff. This is a great piece. Let me show you the ball that this head is resting on. So I almost feel this ball itself is something out of sci-fi. It looks fantastic just like that. And it's crazy to see just a huge ball. Um, the neck does have some movement, but because of the wiring and the lighting. So there we go, we got the purple light right now. It's gonna look weird. Uh, you can only turn so far. Excuse me. So you can see what would be the Sentinels Adam's apples now. You know, that's as far as you can turn left and right. So I get it back in the center. Fantastic. And as mentioned, the additional heads. So we'll do some detail. The master mold head, which I did mention I have two of these uh, ordered. One of them shipped. The other one is in transit right now. Uh, and and I think I want to leave one as master mold because I have a ton of the Hasbro, what is it, 10 inch Sentinels. I have one Toy Biz build a figure because uh, I wasn't crazy enough to buy more of those. But I have a bunch of those Hasbro ones, five or six or seven now. And I think one sitting down as Master Mold would be fantastic. And just have another one with my X-Men. So here is the tri head. A much bigger, you know, the, the ball, the second for the ball itself is the same size, but like the opening here, it's huge because Master Mold and the regular head do have the sculpted detail because it does go down in what would be the jaw of the Sentinel, and you can see the gap there where the, the eyes light up. Uh, and I do appreciate the sculpted work that's inside of this. However, it's it's gonna go unseen unless you're admiring the heads like I am right now. And finally, the battle damage, which only has one opening for one eye because this other eye has been poked out by either Wolverine, it's been blasted out by Cyclops, has been pulled out by Colossus. Whatever your imagination comes up with. I love this, this ripped, literally the top of the head's ripped. So good, you get some wiring there. And they do go on fairly easily. Again, my six-year-old was playing with this and he was able to pop stuff on and off with relative ease. So, and then this is me with one hand going ahead and playing with the Sentinel with the Master Mold head there. Uh, it's crazy is on the box itself, I'll put a picture of the box here. There is a giant Master Mold head looking down on Wolverine, I believe. Well, he fights Bastion. Let's light this bad boy up. Amazing. So cool. Boom. And finally, the battle damage head. Awesome. And then as I mentioned here, this hand I made a fist out of. Let me pull this out ever so slightly with one hand. Comes out pretty easy. Similar peg identical peg rather to the battle damage hand and there we go our sentinel looking beat up and battle damage thanks x-men so cool man let me demonstrate plugging these into the fist or the other hand as we could see there simple plug easy little peg at the end of these nice bendy wires there we go Looking fantastic. Balanced, all that stuff. Fine, no knee problems. Looking good. Love this thing. Love this thing, man. So I showed off how far the neck could go. The shoulders and the shoulder pads are similar to what we're seeing in uh, these smaller figures. It does rotate with the arm there. It actually, it feels like it's rotating on its own. Look how far up that could go with the shoulder pad lifting. You do get your bicep way up there. Double jointed elbows, but it is hindered by the shape and the sculpting of the detail of that glove there. Glove, sorry, it's arm. You know, all this is just, just sculpted parts. Uh, you aren't gonna get any waist swivel there, but you do get that ab crunch, crunch I talked about. The legs are wild, man. Look at that. 
How am I going to do this? Give me a second. All right. So the leg. Look at that. Crazy. Ankle. Pivot's hindered by this thing there. And then the knee we've talked about. Double jointed knee. You can see there, bending nicely. Just doing some comparisons here. We got Toy Biz Build-A-Figure. Giant Man. Doesn't even come close. Uh, Giant Man, you know, I think MCU or an updated version of the comic version would be a fantastic HasLab offering. I would love an MCU version personally because I do love Paul Rudd and Scott Lang. Um, yeah, I would pay for that. I don't know how big it needs to be. Maybe Sentinel size, maybe a little taller than somewhere in between here, right? Would be good or an offering of both comic and MCU. I would do it. I would pay for that. All right, next up. Another offering I would love from Hasbro, HasLab, Fin Fang Foom. Very big for its time, not big enough now. Makes me wonder, uh, spoilers, uh, if this is who the Ten Rings are calling. Wouldn't that be a trip? MCU, Fin Fang Foom. So, as you can see, another small fry compared to the new king in action figures, tall action figures. Somewhat a little bigger, Hasbro's Transformers Omega Supreme from the War for Cybertron line. Huge. And for what? How much did he cost? He costs way less than this. I think this one was 120 bucks. Let me know, I don't remember. I think it's 120 bucks. Uh, you know, no lights. But, I mean, it transforms. That's pretty, that's a big deal, right? There's some engineering you need to pay for. Uh, but, yeah, nowhere near the cost of the HasLab Sentinel. But, you know, three quarters of the scale. And another big one, Hasbro Scorpionok. Huge as well. I think this was also 120 bucks. Uh, let me know in the comments. I don't remember. I got this guy at Target last year for my birthday, I believe. Uh, I didn't get it, but you know what I mean. But look at that. Look at the size. You know, he's up there and it transforms. There's a whole, you know, bunch of engineering different from the Sentinel here. But the cost, not nearly as much. Huge, though. Beautiful figure. It's going to look nice. I love giant robots, apparently. Something I do want to point out. Uh, how am I going to do this? Okay. Let's try it. Listen. Those were knees bending. Those are ratcheted knees from the same company, although different group of designers and engineers. You know, what happened to the ratchet knees, dudes? And just for fun, Mattel's Tyrannosaurus Rex, which is one of my favorite big figs here in the collection. Awesome. Obviously long, the tail will make him taller if we stand him from the tip of the tail to the top tip of his nose, rather. He would be a bigger figure. But again, I think this thing was like 40 bucks, 50 bucks. So uh, very minimal articulation. Um, paint isn't as fancy, no electronics. So, you know, you win here, big guy. But, and although not a fair comparison, because I really don't want to open this. I do like this box. I do like its presentation. And I have like five or six of these unopened at home. As you can tell, I'm still not in my normal setup. Um, again, the only thing I wish this had. Power failure in five, four, three, two, Some cool voice lines that would have made this figure nearly perfect for me. Power core. So cool, right? This would have been perfect. I mean, his eyes are lighting up too, I believe. Yeah. Man, what a bummer. I guess I can put him behind this one and pretend this one is the one talking. 
And then the final two pieces that do come with Sentinel are Bastion and a female Sentinel Prime. Bastion, however, so if you do get duplicates, you don't get double Bastion. You can go ahead and put this head on this guy. I'll go ahead and do a mini review of these guys separately. But man, look at that head sculpt. May shelf, dude. May shelf. That's it, man. That is it. Quick. As quick as I can be. Dirty. It's still an action figure. I reviewed it like an action figure. Um, it's beautiful, man. If you uh, are able to somehow still get your hands on it, maybe you trade a bunch of figures and some dude's down, like, do it. You need this in your collection. It is a fantastic piece. If you are an X-Men fan, absolutely. Someone who grew up in the 90s when X-Men comics were all the rage and you wouldn't in your wildest dream have thought the Avengers would be the kings of the movie screen, this is a must-have. Absolutely must-have. I am looking forward to Galactus, which is an even bigger figure. I'm gonna go up to there or something. And, uh, yeah. You know, I can't wait for Galactus's MCU debut. I cannot wait for the Sentinels MCU debut because they haven't been done justice in movie screens at all. But you know, again, 90s teen, X-Men cartoon Saturday morning, Jim Lee's X-Men on comic shelves. Uh, comic cards were all the rage. That's That seems to be a big deal at Hasbro right now, these comic cards. Yeah, man, you know, and, and those of you waiting patiently, man, Keep continuing to wait patiently, I guess. I don't know what else to say to you or why Hasbro isn't hooking you up, but uh, you guys are in for a treat. Thank you for watching this sloppy, sloppy review, I understand. Uh, I'm embarrassed with how dusty that Scorpionock was, man. These things collect us, and that drives me nuts. Thank you again. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Like, dislike, smash it all. Do what you can. I appreciate your views, your subs, and your time, most importantly. I'll see you in this video followed by some other stuff.